Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing our 2024 Alderman Theater Tour and Man Cave Tour. So stay tuned as we take a look around at what we have down here and in the theater. All right, here we are in the bar area of the Man Cave. Um, and immediately apparent, obviously, are the two TVs over top of the uh, liquor area. And we can sit here at the bar and enjoy some football games or other sports or other, you know, events if there's something on. And we can have two of those at the same time. So that's really nice. A couple of uh, smart home items here that I'd like to point out. We have a smart plug here beside the dehumidifier that we have here. And what we use that for is time of use electric billing. Um, we have a higher rate from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, um, off peak rates other times, and then from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. we have our cheapest rates. So we program those to run during the cheaper times so that we save money and we end up with the same humidity level, so it works out great. Um, another item that I'd like to point out are one of my favorite smart home devices, and that's the Lutron Cassetta switches that we have here. And we have two regular switches, and then we have the Pico remote. And this Pico remote, I have controlling some of our lights, but in addition to that, it's um, programmed through Home Assistant to um, do some automation. So, for example, the center button turns on several of our lights. So you can see the under, um, under bar lighting comes on, and then we have some of the liquor lights over at the side. The, the Jägermeister and the Bud Light comes on. And there's a couple of lights around the corner here as well that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, one last item in this area are our uh, smart home speakers and our hub here for the Acara. The Acara hub actually runs a mini slit system that's on the wall here. So again, in support of the time of use, it changes the temperature on the mini split. It actually um, heats it up a little bit more for the last hour before the peak rate and then backs it off during the peak rate to compensate there and um, allow it to run less during our peak rates and run more during the off peak and save us some money. We also have the Amazon um, assistant here, the dot, as well as uh, Google home. So a couple of the smart, smart speakers we have sitting right here, and then I'll go around and show you the uh, other liquor lights. Here's the view from the other angle. And those are the lights that we previously saw. The TV going into sleep mode. And then we have the gym beam and the Coors light, as well as the, uh, the liquor stand back there is lit up as well. So we have all of that plugged into the smart outlets, which are triggered by the home assistant scene from the Pico remote. We are now in the pool table game room of the man cave. And you can see that TV over there. The fun item with the TV is that it's hooked into the HDMI from the theater. So whatever's playing on the theater, we always have it playing out here so that we can walk out, get our snacks, go to the restroom, and never miss a scene of the movie or the football game or whatever else is on. And looking the other way in the game room, you can see the Harry Potter cardboard cutouts that we have. And then we have some uh, signs that are lit up above and beside the door. And then we have a very unique aspect of our home theater setup. And that's this soda machine and snack area that we have set up. So this was formerly a soda machine from a local subway that went out of business that we had purchased and um, the ice machine on top. So it is fully functioning. And you can go ahead and get, you know, soda, iced tea, lemonade, fruit punch, whatever we have in it at the time, and uh, dispense that. So if you'd be interested in a video about how that's hooked up and what that looks like inside the cabinet and such, uh, please feel free to comment down below and let me know that. And I'll uh, look into making a video about that so you can see what that looks like. And then off to the left, we have the popcorn machine as well as the candy snacks to the left there for the theater. I'm going to start the walkthrough of the theater with the lights on, and then I'll show you what it looks like when we turn the lights off 
and prevent the uh, washing out of the screen here. So I'm just going to back up a little bit and show you that we have these curtains and the clip speakers and subwoofer and all of the items that you're going to see, I'll link in the description below. So feel free to utilize those links to check those out on Amazon. Um, the curtains are fully functioning. We have a slider at the top, like you would see in a hospital um, on the ceiling. This one's an all black, but you can slide those all the way across and cover the screen. I'm not going to do that right now because with the screen on, that doesn't, doesn't look that great because it projects it onto the curtains, but you would turn the projector off and then you could utilize the sliding curtains to cover that up and make it look really neat up front with the curtains. I'm going to turn around here and you can see we have our theater seating. Those we purchased through forceating.com. So if you're interested in, in those, that's where I got those. I don't have an affiliate link or anything for those. So um, you'd have to look at those on your own, but you can certainly go over there if you're interested in the seating. These are powered seats, and I can go into an in-depth video on those. If you like, just comment in the comment section, and I can do, make a video out those and go through all those features. They have uh, a lot of neat features, and they're, they're really great chairs, um, things you wouldn't expect in them. So if you're interested in that, let me know, and I will go ahead and make a video of that. You can see, I'll show you the uh, projector up top. That is a Epson projector. So that's a really nice um, projector. It doesn't do the rainbowing on the screen that some of the projectors do. So if you're susceptible to that in particular, where at the edges you'll see different colors, this one, um, we don't have that issue. And this is you know one of the projectors known for not having that issue. It will proceed up the steps, and you can see we have three tiers here. So the first tier up, and we have the four seats in front with the projector screen. And then we can proceed up the other two steps. And we have three additional theater seats, the three there, the four up, up front. And then we have one more row of seating where we have the bar stools at the bar height. So you can come back here and be in the rear of the theater and see over top of all the chairs. And this is the approximate height. Actually, guess somewhere right in this height would be the uh, normal height for uh, an adult to be sitting back here. And you can see you don't even see the back row of chairs at this height when you're looking towards the screen. So it, that is a 120 inch screen, so a 10 foot screen up front. That's as uh, good as we could do because you can see this bump out on the right here, or the bump in, that prevents us from going all the way over and it would block our view. Additionally, we have our electrical panel behind the curtain on the right up front. So we're really um, stuck with this amount of space to easily access everything and easily see everything. A couple of the other items in here, we do have rear speakers. And a subwoofer in the rear, so we get a lot of bass when we want it here. And here's the other rear speaker, again, Klipsch on those. And then we have the mini split in the back here that we um, can utilize our Logitech um, Harmony Hub to change the settings on that, or we have the manual remote as well. But if we want to automate it, we have the Harmony Hub in here. And that's in our... Um, set up over here, our brains of the operation, if you will. We have a Sony receiver. We have the Harmony Hub I mentioned. There's a Roku Ultra. There's an Apple TV 4K, a Sony Blu-ray player, a Sony PlayStation 5, and then we have some network gear down here as well with a Switch, and then um, a PC as well over on the right. So lots of electronics down here. And here's a good view of the Epson projector. This is mounted to the ceiling. We have the wooden backing above the ceiling there, so it's nice and secure, and we could adjust it. And um, you can see that we have the cabling ran up into the ceiling, so we have that you know hidden as much as possible, and then coming out right here at the projector so that we can tap in with the HDMI. On the receiver, 
we have it going out from the receiver to the TV that you saw in the other room out in the game room and directly into this projector. And then we also have the speaker wires, you know, obviously going from the receiver out through the walls to the speakers and the subwoofer. So let's go ahead and get the lights turned off in here and I'll show you what the screen looks like with the lights turned off. Here's the view from the back of the theater with the lights off from the bar top seating. This is the view from the third row of theater seating. You can, see, you can easily see over all the seats in front of you with that one foot riser from the second row and two foot riser from the front row. And here's the seating from the second row, the viewpoint. And this is again, the one foot riser above the front row. And clearly you can see over top of their heads, even the kids can see over top of adults' heads in the front row. So it works out really well. And last but not least, we'll move to the front row. And here's your view from the front row. This is my favorite seat in the theater. Um, obviously, everybody likes to have that big screen right in front of them. So when you're playing games on the PS5 or watching football or a movie, you can really get into the action. It's great. And I wanted to show you from the back row what it looks like when you're exiting with the lights that we have in the step area. You can see it's really nice and lit up. Despite the fact that the theater is pretty dark, you can easily see when you're walking out and walking down to the front row or out to the snack area. This is despite it being pretty dark within the theater. You can see this is the rows of chairs. You can barely see them, but you come over here and it's nice and lit up and it's you know projecting down so it's not in your eyes. So that's a really great setup. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you want me to make a video about the soda machine or the chairs or anything else you saw, make sure you comment below and I'll go ahead and look into making a video about those. But for now, it's time for me to go watch a movie.